As the Prophet وسلم, was passing by the marketplace, he saw a store that was selling some grains. These grains were in a bucket. So the Prophet وسلم, puts his hand in that bucket and this was the customs and the norms to check the quality of the grains. So when he placed his hand into the bucket, the tips of his finger got wet. He took his hand out and he saw some water. So he asked the owner, Ma hadha ya sahib al -ta'am? What is this that I see on my hand? And you gotta appreciate something. He didn't come to a conclusion. Why is this wet? What's wrong with you? You should have been fair. No, let me verify before I comment. So he said, what is that wetness that I experienced? So the man was honest, was very likely stressed out or nervous. Allah knows best. Then he says, Ya Rasulullah, it rained on the grains. So I basically lifted and flipped the bucket. So the witness is in the bottom and the dry part was on the top. So he tried to hide the fact that it was affected by the rain. The Prophet ﷺ was not happy. He says, you should have made it clear to the people that water has affected the grains. So people basically can know what they're buying. Yes, when it's wet, it will eventually become ruined faster, but maybe the price will be lowered. The people will get to know because if they do not see it now, they take some scoops, put it in a bag, go home, and they want to start cooking. And they're like, oh my God, it's wet, it's ruined. Don't do that. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Man Ghasha, whoever cheats the people. You want to hide the facts about the product? Don't do that. Man Ghasha, Falaysa Minni. Whoever cheats is not one of my people, one of my followers. Allahu Akbar. Here, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam lived by the Quran, where Allah says, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Waltakum Minkum Ummatu Yadruna Ila Al Khair. Let there be a group of people among you to call others to goodness. Wayamuruna Bil Ma'rufi Wayanhauna Anil Munkar. Commanding people to do good and forbidding people from doing evil. These are the successful people. May Allah make you and I live with the Quran and advise people with wisdom and knowledge. Ameen Rabbil Alameen.